Property London. My name is Akash Saha from Saha Properties. Welcome to our latest project on the Toast Rack in Wandsworth. As soon as we enter the house, we're met by our formal living room a very special room where one would probably invite guests as they enter the property. We've tried to keep the original character of this room as it would have been built over 100 years ago by installing Victorian cornices, mouldings, um, a reclaimed Victorian fireplace, whilst also, of course, having the modern amenities that one would expect from a brand new house, such as AC, modern lighting, and parquet floors. Uh, follow me down into the kitchen and the newly constructed part of the house, past the WC over here. We have a really big open plan kitchen and dining area and all of the incredible Miele appliances and bespoke handmade English joinery that one could expect to see in a house like this. And behind me, you can see our expansive terrace, which leads out to our 100 foot garden and our garden room at the back. Because we've got such a large space here, we've kept and designed with flexibility in mind. At the moment, we've dressed the space as a grand dining area. We could have the dining table closer to the sliding doors and this area as a snug. Perfect for a family with young children. Follow me downstairs to the basement level where we've got an office, a living room, a wine room, and a whole lot more. Here we have our office. We've designed it with a bit of a moodier theme in mind using our dark green palette. We've also opted to include the molding in here and the space could be used as a library. For the wine connoisseurs, we have a wine cellar here with a capacity of over 850 bottles. And just outside it leads us to probably my favorite part of the house where we've got a working fireplace, this beautiful architectural staircase, and above me, six meters of ceiling height. Here we have the living room, a likely space where the family are going to gather. We want the space to be cozy and intimate and we have a working fireplace below our TV. We've added close to 2,000 square foot of additional space, bringing the grand total close to 5,000 square foot. And that has meant we've been able to afford such luxuries as a dedicated boot store area, a separate storage room, and a laundry and plant room. So for those that are interested, there's a lot of plant that is required for running a house of this size. And that includes basement alarm pumps, air conditioning units, a lighting control panel, a home automation cabinet, an alarm system, a CCTV cabinet, a booster set, water softener, hot water cylinder, and underfloor heating manifolds. Behind me, we have the lower ground floor entrance. This could be used as a separate entrance to this bedroom, which could be for guests or for staff quarters. There's fitted joinery, a ton of space, lots of ample lighting, and an ensuite bathroom. We stood in the landscape garden of our Wandsworth project. It's 100 foot long, and that's something that we don't often find in houses in this area. It's afforded us a big basement extension and a garden room at the back of the property. Here we have the garden room located at the back of the garden. It's 350 square foot in size. We've dressed it as a yoga studio. One could use it as an office or potentially a granny annex as it also has an ensuite and a fully fitted kitchen. Follow me into the principal suite, uh, a very special and intimate space. We've got a lot going on. One, the bedroom covers the full width of the property, so there's ample amounts of space. We have feature cornicing, hidden 
AC, integrated audio, underfloor heating. Here and actually throughout the property, I'm stood in the dressing room. As you can see, ample amounts of space. We have bespoke fitted joinery from Neatsmith in a linen finish, giving a soft and cozy feel to this room. At the end of the dressing room here, we have the bathroom for the principal suite. As you can see, and possibly even here, there is tons of space, lots of light. Um, we've used large format onyx tiles to give a really soft feel. We have Luso stone fittings throughout and a Carrara marble basin top. On this floor, other than our Crestron touch panel, which controls our lighting, underfloor heating, CCTV, intercom, and front door. We also have two ensuite bedrooms, which would likely be for the children. Each of the rooms has fitted joinery, including a desk or study area, ample space for a double bed, and as I mentioned, the ensuite bathroom. Up on the top floor of this period property, we have the final two of six total bedrooms in the house. I think one of the most fun bedrooms because we've left all the vaults of the roof space intact and visible, holding on to the period architecture. Thank you for coming around and having a look at our latest development. I hope you found it interesting and insightful and I'll see you on the next one.